Hey there guys, Michael from the Gem Tech here, and today I've got a video explaining the voice dictation on the new iPad 3, or the new iPad. This is the third generation in Apple's iPad series, and let's jump on into the explanation here. So, as you can see here, I've opened up notes, and this will work with any application that will input words. This will work with your finder um, when you want to go search for something. Um, the Internet Explorer, or uh, the web browser, rather Safari, um, anything that you want to input words into. And basically what it is, is a voice dictation software where it'll pick up what you're saying and translate it into text. So this is powered by Nuance's voice recognition software, which is a pretty advanced voice recognition software. But what this means is that it is only available when you're connected to a wireless network, whether this be 3G, 4G, or Wi-Fi. This will only work when you're connected to the network because it needs to go to Nuance's servers uh, or Apple servers to um, the the voice recognition to translate what it's what it's picking up into words, and then it comes back and writes it down. So let's just take a look at it here. So when you open up any app here, let's open up the Notes app and click Start a New Note, and let's press this. I am making a note on my new iPad period. And you can see it picked that up really, really nicely, um, really accurately, and it was fast too. Notice how fast that was. So I can say, my name is Michael and I'm making a video about the voice recognition on the new iPad, period. This is a pretty cool feature and I like it a lot, period. It got it word for word really nicely, and this is better than anything I've seen on my Android phone. Even drag and dictate on my Mac doesn't do this good of a job. This is really impressive, and the fact that you don't have to go create a voice profile is really cool. So now let's say we want to go into a search for an application, and I can say Safari. And there it is, pops up. And so what you need to do is just tap it, it starts it, and then tap to finish. And this is a really useful tool if you are doing, you know, writing messages with the Messages app. Uh, you're making calendar events, setting reminders, or notes, or even if you're um, writing emails. You can do a couple sentences, then, um, then you can tap it and it'll put it in. And it's really interesting, it's really useful. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't put Siri in. I think that they their, their reasoning for that is they still want to make it exclusive to the iPhone 4S and future iPhones. I'm not sure whether we'll see that. I doubt we're going to see that in the Mac, uh, newer Mac models that come out, and I doubt we're going to see that in future iPads. I think that's going to be phone, uh, you know, only only specifically for the newer iPhones because really you carry your phone with you everywhere that's when it's most useful it's not as useful on a tablet when you don't carry it everywhere you don't use it for setting reminders and everything that you will use your phone for because your entire life is on your phone it's nice to have a little help doing stuff and, and making it easier and more accessible and it's a cool feature to have on a phone but on, on an iPad on a tablet I don't know how practical that is so anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video This is Michael from the Gem Tech. Uh, I hope you guys have a nice day. Uh, cheers. And this is Michael from the Gem Tech signing out. Peace, guys.